Hold the phone, son. He got one in a trap. I got two! What is good, Grey Gang? We are with Deer Meat for dinner on Rat Island. So a couple weeks ago, he actually came out here and done a 24-hour video. Did you kill any rats? No rats. And he was, he didn't, he didn't capitalize on the opportunity, so you know what happened. He needed meat, so here I am. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to kill a rat. We're going to eat a rat. It's going to be a lot harder than that. Yeah, I do think it's going to be a little bit harder. In Kentucky, I don't think I've actually ever seen a rat. Rat? I don't know. I guess the foxes just go ham on them or something. But yeah, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. The middle of nowhere that has a picnic table of course but you know that's your standard florida for you florida man probably did that we'll go over here and take a look inside the island see if we can cheap shot a rat real quick kg pocket knife or something try not to get bit by a single copper moccasin or something oh snap it gets thick in here yeah this is like actually probably a little bit dangerous you know yeah but the rats that we're going after their exact name is a gambian pouch rat they came from gambia if you don't know where gambia is i don't either but join the club you know <laughs> but yeah from what i heard they get about the same size as a german shepherd so uh Better stay locked and loaded. Now, before I actually came down to Florida, I knew I was going to be getting myself into this. And so, uh, don't worry, I came prepared. Let no stinking rag get the best meat, so I'm sticking to stick Jack. His jaw set. Put his teeth in the drywall. That's what I'll do. But yeah, KG out here, deserted island. Do some damage. Now, the island we're on, we're not exact. It's not exactly that huge. The water's right over there. And the water's also right over here. And it's pretty much just a rainforest. I I heard that right now is the Florida's dry season, so I imagine during the wet season, this would probably be wet, you know? It's just a wild guess. But yeah, to make our job a little bit easier, we did bring some bait and traps, and we've also got an air gun, so that should make it a whole lot easier. You can't exactly bring like a 6.5 Creedmoor out here because you may shoot through the rat, hit another rat, and then hit some guy in the head. But now for step number one, we gotta build base camp. And before we get too deep into this, let me show you the traps and the gun that we're using. So these are kind of cool traps. I've actually never seen many like this. Essentially, you just set the trap right there, put some bait on the inside, and then the rat's gonna run through here, through this thing. It's kind of a weird thing how it works, but he can go in. But then whenever he comes back out, this thing shuts the door and he can't really come out. It's a pretty cool trap, pretty simple. Probably catch squirrels and rabbits too if you camouflage good enough. As for the gun itself, we're using an air gun and this is .77. This is a pretty old one. But listen, we shot it a little bit and we'll shoot it a little bit here in a minute. This thing's accurate. Like it's got iron sights that are stinking like ready to go, dude. I don't know how good they're going to do at night, but there's a small chance we could be sticking a thermal on it. So that'll be pretty epic if we can get that done. But yeah, for now we're going to go ahead and get the thing set up, get the trap set up, and then we'll go ahead and actually start seeing some rats. Okay guys, I came over here to this part of the island towards the town of the middle. I brought some marshmallows And I'm actually gonna like chum up the woods a little bit. We're not actually hunting them yet But we are just gonna try to you know get them into the area. You can hear some if you listen really closely You can hear something like literally right over there Listen, You can hear them over there breaking sticks and stuff, but I'm gonna put the marsh all right, let me go get some more marshmallows. All right, guys, here's the deal. I'm just going to set all three of these right here, and I'm going to put a circle around it. That way that you know that I'm, that, you know, that I'm showing the same spot every time. But we're over here a pretty good ways into the island. Our camp's way over there, so. The thing is, I'll come back in like 20 minutes, see if they're still here. According to the last video they did here, they shouldn't last long, okay? They were they like bit his toes off. Yes, last time they were here, it's crazy. But yeah, I can literally hear them right over there. Like, they're right here. I've just not seen one yet with my own eyes yet. But we know they're here, and we know they're massive. All right, guys, we'll give that about 10 minutes. We may set this trap or something, but we'll come back and we'll see if they're still here. Oh, gosh. All right, so we have a couple things going on here. This is a rat trap that I bought at the local feed store. I got two of them, and we're going to do a test. This is extreme gourmet pet rabbit food. It looks like it's got marsh. Basically looks like a... <laughs> Trail mix for rabbits. You, you actually nailed that. Trail mix for rabbits with marshmallows. My kids would eat this for breakfast. And on the other hand, we have marshmallows. So this is what I want to know. Drop it in the, in the comments below. What do you think we're going to catch more rats in? Using marshmallows or the gourmet rat food? What's your guess? I'm going to say marshmallows because maybe they smell sugary more. Dude, how I don't can know. you bet it? Betting against the extreme gourmet pet rabbit food is like betting against Tom Brady. It's a good way to lose. I'm going with the rabbit. Let's go this way. Trail camera on there. Oh yeah, buddy. That way, in the case that they start outsmarting us, we can figure out why. Dude, they sound, I think they're raiding camp. They might be circling back on us. Did we bring the 50? 50 cal? Is it still in your truck? It's still in my truck. Dang it. You hear him? Oh, he's getting close, he's getting fearless. Oh snap, oh snap. Get the taser, get the taser. 
Oh, I got a bird's eye on him now. Where's he at? Where's he at, big boy? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I can hear him. Meanwhile, the trap's turning out nice. Did, did, did a rat just start the boat? <laughs> I think we have bigger problems than is it marshmallows or trail mix? <laughs> it did sound like something just started the boat. <laughs> What's that one rat movie? Uh, Ratatouille? <laughs> be a reverse catch clean cook. <laughs> I need y'all to go down in the comments and uh, this doesn't really have anything to do with anything but if, if y'all don't know anyone who makes an air gun that's a shotgun just let me know. I think I, I think I need that. I feel like I have a lot of uses for it. I'm gonna rap troll son. Next one comes out I'm chugging a stick at him. Set number one confirmed. On to the next one. Very interesting. Looks good don't it? Oh uh, yeah. He has no faith in me. <laughs> There's no faith. I just think we got bigger problems. Yeah, boat not, might not be there when we get back. I'm telling you, there was something. That I heard scratching in the boat, and then it started. Now you can say what you want to, but I think we're gonna be staying here a lot longer than we first expected. All right, so uh, we're gonna bait this one with marshmallows. This is supposed to be a hot spot from where they done it last time. Last time they set a trap, but it was actually a raccoon trap, so it's too big for them to set it off. And uh, they said they set it like right here, so that's, where we're, that's what we're gonna do. How smart do you think these things are? You think, well, they're definitely not shy, so I think we just do it right there. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Get it in the sand, it won't matter that much. And the first thing, we'll put up the trail camera, watching right towards that thing. Turn it on. Mm -hmm. Oh, it needs to be angled down and right there, so we can get this sticker here. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we can. Stick it right in there. That'll give us a little bit of angle there. Right there's pretty good. That is ready to go. Now it's on, it's ready. Now we just actually have to set the trap. Honestly, I don't think there's a way that marshmallows isn't gonna catch rats on a rat infested island, so. Give them a freebie, okay? Make them think they're doing something. Boom, that is nothing. Make them think it's cool. It ain't, it ain't cool. We'll put a couple in there. That way there's no way they can actually get these at all. These rats are about the size of big chungus, so. One marshmallow is not going to feed them, so <laughs> they should be here plenty of time. I doubt that they're trap shy. And, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll shut the top. That didn't really bad. Now we just come back in a couple minutes. Probably about two minutes. Probably be full. But we're also going to try to hunt them with the 17. That's going to be pretty crazy. I actually don't know how we're going to hunt them with the 17 yet. Let's actually go figure that out. All right, guys, we've came up with something completely new. We brought this lantern so that we could kind of, like, you know, see. But we found out it was a built-in Bluetooth speaker. So we are about to play. We were about to play stinking rat distress right here. There was a rat right here like two seconds ago, so we'll come over here to the bait pile. Maybe we can entice it to come on over to the bait pile or something. It's connected to my phone right now, so we'll set the light right there. We'll leave it on and see how it does. If that doesn't work, we'll turn off the light and call. They don't seem to be too shy of humans. We need a rat distress, a baby rat distress. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I can hear it. Dude, we're gonna get one, I'm telling you. Hey, there's a rat right here to your left. Really? Dude, it's coming. Alright, so he's actually going to set up a bait pile, and we kind of just ran right up on him. So we're gonna put the bait pile on Paul. Let's go hunt him like squirrels, honestly. Walking through here, slowly but surely, taking it nice and slow, and shooting one if we see one. That reminds me of hog and hermit crab everywhere. So these rats that are on here are called Gambian house rats. And they're highly invasive. All right guys, so this is the gun we're gonna be using. I already showed you this earlier, but we're gonna make sure it's on. We're gonna use a can, toss it out there, probably around the right distance. Probably around the right distance. Can you explain that? It's uh, it's the right distance, but just probably. Is that a technical term? You can go. So it's pretty small, pretty light, but it's moving quick enough to hopefully put a hole in the side of a rat's head. Okay, we may skip the pocket. <laughs> Let's see. Dude, no questions asked. I just heard one. And if I heard him, he's close. <laughs> yeah, Rob's deaf. <laughs> it's sad but true. Oh, right there, right there. Wait, he's in my trap. Really? Well, I think. I. You Did can't you hear that? Did you move it? He's right there, he's right there. Push it forward. He's right there. I saw him run out the back side. I had him in my sights, but the safety was on. <laughs> they live in this thick 
thick, dense jungle. Just lost that one. I had him, it was a, gonna be a perfect gut shot, but he got away from me. I didn't know this thing had a safety. But now I found the safety, safety's off. We'll go ahead and pop that can real quick. I think I hit the can. Nice. I like it. It's a quiet gun compared to the one that we was hunting iguanas with. Perfect. It's exactly where we was aiming at. All right, now we're just going to have to wait until another one starts trying to ravage the campsite, and then I'll put him put his teeth in the drywall. <laughs> Hold the phone, son. He got one in a trap. I got two. He got two. <laughs> I got two gigantic Cambodian or Gambian pal traps. Look at the size of them rascals. Hey, just like TB12. Winner, winner, we done got us a rat for dinner. What's their names? Tom, and the other one's name's Brady. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot him right now? Well, I ain't taking him home with me. <laughs> That's called a Gambian pouch rat. One of the most invasive rodents in the Western Hemisphere. They've been taking over these islands, and those two have been put out of commission. Well, we got on trail camera. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're crawling all over it. <laughs> there was like three in there. Dang. <laughs> there was four in there. When one gets in, another one gets out. There's so many, it's not even funny. Okay, we were there at 9 p.m. At 9.03, they were there. <laughs> at 9.10, we caught our first rat. <laughs> 10 minutes after we left. We just picked up a thermal. Check it out, you can see everything. You can see the campfire glowing white. Then over here at the boat. Pretty cool. So no, we didn't eat the wrap. Rob wouldn't let me, but here's the thing. I'm gonna put in a possum catch and cook right now, which is pretty much the same thing. Come on, make me proud, possum. Prove the world wrong. What is good, Grey Gang? We are out here in the middle of the woods, and we're gonna be attempting to do a little bit of raccoon trapping. Now I know what you're saying. Kill dude, what you gonna do with the raccoons? I know you got a good idea back in there somewhere. Well, here's the best part, Gerald. I don't know, but I'll figure it out when I catch one. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do when I catch one. I may make a hat out of him. I feel like that would be pretty epic. But don't forget, it is the skunk's breeding season, so we could get lucky and get one of those boogers. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and set some. We are setting dog-proof raccoon traps, which are these things right here. Pretty basic, but they work. I promise. As for bait and lure, bait, got some dog food, my go-to. Lure, I'm trying something a little bit different out now. I got some uh, fish oil. It smells like fish, believe it or not. Now, a second ago, I did say that it is the breeding season for skunks, but it's also the breeding season for coyotes and even raccoons, so unfortunately, it's not the best time of year to trap raccoons. I'm just gonna say that. Cause they're not worried about food as much cause there's not as much food available. It's late season, basically everything's gone. Living on fat reserves. But that definitely doesn't mean you can't catch a raccoon. If you know where a big one's go coming and going, you can still catch it. Yeah, I'm gonna set a trap right here. <clears throat> Ow, oh my goodness. This trap's full of mud. It was already here. I don't remember what exactly happened to it. Stick it in the ground. Doggy foodie in the ba barrel. Perfect. Fish oil. A little bit on the top, a little bit outside. Perfect. And now, on to the next one. Hopefully we can get a couple set, maybe three or four today. But if I got one tip for you, it is don't sacrifice quality for quantity. I'd rather have three traps set in really good spots than eight traps set in random spots. That's just me. It's also less work, and I'm lazy. trap I actually didn't show you guys but I kind of just reset one whenever we ate the raccoon last time this is where I caught it and I just came in here and reset the trap but like is his foot in here or what no his foot's not in there so he didn't break it off he did use the bathroom right here which is 
decently fresh. I don't know, guys. I mean, wild guess, I'm going to say it was probably a raccoon, I'd imagine. I don't really know what else it could be. I mean, the sad thing is that you can tell he's been here a while. He's got, he's got the trap circle worn out. If you're asking me, you know, dude, what happened? If I had to make an educated guess, dog proofs are unfortunately not perfect. And if it's a big old fat raccoon and it lays on it the right way, it'll actually let itself out of the trap. Now, that happens like a very small percentage of the time, but obviously it happened today. So, we're going to reset this trap. I'll catch you guys whenever we catch something in a trap. Okay, guys, it is the next day. We're going to go out check the trap line, but today we're taking the trapping shack on wheels. If you don't know, this is what I used to drive around. This used to be my everyday drive, basically. Listen to the thing purr one time. We It's only got 865 hours, so it's pretty, basically brand new. But yeah, I mean, this is what the Defender replaced. But uh, just as good, just as good. I knew there's a reason we replaced this thing. All right, guys, we uh, we switched back to the Defender for our eyes. I guess a pretty a pretty a simple a pretty obvious reason I would say so myself I mean you know everyone's always like you know, go back to the trapping jack of wheels but I mean I just can't like it it, it just can't go anywhere it, it couldn't even get out of my yard let alone out here where the traps are I mean the defender it is new and all but listen guys this thing is legit i don't think you need me to tell you that but it just destroys the mule in so many different ways but anyways guys let's go on down to the river i got a few traps down there let's go check them hopefully we'll have something here <clears throat> mate took the wrong road for today son you know what they say hit them hard hit them fast <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> We don't got nothing. On to the next one. And nothing in that one either. Oh, nothing in the coyote trap covered in three inches of snow, but this one, we actually got something. This is one of the ones that we actually rebaited yesterday. It's a possum. And I mean, it's not a raccoon, but I mean, that's okay. I don't really have to have a raccoon. Just a little bitty possum. Let me get out the big camera. A nice little possum. Now, he's going to act mean, but that's kind of because he's not. Now, I got a fun fact about possums. For one, I've been bit by one. And uh, right here, see how he's playing possum? Also, don't try this at home because, uh, well, like I said, I've been bit by one. They don't bite people 90% of the time, but I was one of that 10%. He killed me. But yeah, you see that he's playing possum right here, okay? He's actually not playing. He's actually like dying. Whenever possums get really scared like that, their body releases like some kind of hormone and they literally like pass out. They like just straight up shut down. So yeah, he's playing possum, but he's actually not playing. He has no control over his body right now. I don't know. I mean, it works for me. I've never actually eaten a possum before. And I know it's possible because I know a lot of old people that have. But I don't know anybody under the age of 60 that has. So I don't know. I mean, we're going we're gonna to try it, I guess. I mean, they got decent back legs about the size of a rabbit. But yeah, I mean, we're going to go ahead and take him out and... Eat him, I guess. I don't know. It can't be too bad, can it? All right, guys. So I just came over here and checked the trail camera. I don't know if you guys can see this at all, but in that picture, there's a possum. And in the very next picture after he's caught, there's actually a red fox. So I don't know how good you could see those pictures, but we got a red fox here and very recent. He was here last night. I may have to rebate one of those sets up there because he had to have walked right past that set. But I sure didn't catch him. Anyways, let's go ahead and take care of this possum. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and take him out. 17 to HMR. It does the job and does it really quick. See you, little buddy. If you follow the channel a lot, you'll know that this is where we usually skin most of our animals. This is where we skin the coyote in this video. I had a little gambrel tied to that green string up there, but it's just, it's not, it's not going to work, guys. It gets hung up in the pulleys way too often. And then whenever we go to skin a deer, we always use the excavator to hang it up. But I've been thinking, I wish there was an easier way. And there is an easier way. So I bought the pulley on Amazon, like literally $24 for us, 800 pound pulley. Or not a pulley, but a winch. Here's the pulley I bought for $2.95. So yeah, I'm going to go. Go ahead and install it there, then we'll get right into skinning the possum.
right, guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Honestly, probably one of the first things that you notice is a uh, candida. What the heck is that on your plate? Now, yes, yes, these little legs that I got out of the crock pot just now, that is the possum. This over here, if you're a diehard fan, you saw that about a week ago, roughly. I actually done a catch and cook on a coyote this video right here. If you have not seen that, you have to go watch that video. Okay. I literally almost died. I'm not kidding. I have milk to rinse my- I almost died. But now we're gonna move on to a possum. Whenever I started the day, I was like, huh, meat is meat, right? It can't taste bad. And then I ate the coyote and my- I don't even- I don't even know- I don't even know what- I'm contemplating everything. I- I don't even know what is what anymore. Now, before I actually eat this possum, I do want to say, if you want to buy some merch, this is the shirt I'm going to suggest. These newest three shirts, which is these two and this one, they are the softest material you've ever, you've ever touched in your entire life. This one's kind of orange, so you can kind of wear it during deer season. And, uh not get shot that's always a big plus but we also have the kg pocket knives in stock like i showed you guys earlier but now let's go ahead and we'll we'll take a shot at this possible let's just hope for the best dude there's not a chance this tastes good come on make me proud and possum prove the world wrong mm, dude what is wrong with that? I put it in my mouth and it melted. But not like chocolate, but like sand. It turned into sand. This was supposed to be game changing for the possum eating community. Let me rinse my palate and I'll try it again. It cannot taste bad. It's just a mutated squirrel. Yeah, it tastes pretty bad. I can confirm. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. <laughs> 